Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome to Linda Knit and Crochet with Linda and G June. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's uh, we've we've uh, we're a bit, bit giddy today. We've been out and um, been shopping and we just went to Matalan and just had a look and came home with some new clothes. <laughs> as you do, guys. As you do. Didn't we? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. So. We hope everybody's well. Um, we had a busy weekend, didn't we? Yes. Um, it was June's birthday um, on the 22nd, which was Saturday. And we went to, we spent the day together. Yes. And um, we went to, uh, we, we go to a knit and natter at Black Sheep Wools, which is my local yarn shop. And they do um, a knit and natter on a Sunday morning, which June and I go to. Yeah. And um, from there, we met the girls. And they're lovely, aren't they? A lovely group of women. And uh, we have a laugh and a joke. We have a coffee and we knit and we crochet or whatever we're working on. And we have a really good laugh. And then um, we were invited to join them. That Once a month, they all get together and um, we were invited to join them which was just so happened to be june's birthday so we went along and we were there from 11 till 3. yep and we had a ball didn't we we sure yeah. did we had a really good time it was brilliant so if any of the girls there they do watch my video uh my my videos because uh, when i went what the first time i went a couple of them said oh i've watched your videos and i was i was more you know kind of, well i wasn't mortified it was like dead shocked yeah. to be to be recognized so yeah. which was really nice so yeah so we've made some new friends yeah and yeah. Uh, it's lovely it's just really nice did you enjoy it oh god yeah 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 it was lovely lovely had cake did cake you? yeah we took cake and we had lots of coffee and we uh, had lots of chat yeah and uh, yeah it was just so nice to because as you all know and you know as well yeah. knitting and crocheting is quite a lonely you know hobby yeah. a lonely hobby um yeah. and um for many years i just had youtube um as you know i made lots and lots of friends uh, virtually on on youtube and i've met quite a few of them um at my local yarn shop um but um now i've got june and then obviously we um i mentioned to june about black sheep wolves and she said yeah let's go so we it, it's just so nice to actually get out yeah. and share and see what other people are making and yeah. other people's ideas and yeah lots well, of inspiration yeah, isn't yeah. it and, and hints like, and tips yeah. and telling us you know giving us ideas and and us helping and sharing well. patterns as well like yeah. you know you see someone with something going oh that's lovely and they tell you the pattern and that's you go out and buy the yeah, yeah. go out and buy the pattern yeah. but then you buy the yarn because obviously we're at the local uh, black sheep wools yeah. so what do you do when you're at black sheep wools you buy yarn and yeah. patterns yeah, or definitely. if you don't buy yarn you buy patterns because you think oh i've got this um i've yeah. got this at home yeah yeah so it was really good wasn't it, yeah, it, was. Lovely. it was. but to any of the girls who watch the watch the video we really really i enjoy yeah. your company and it, it's just yeah, really do. nice for us um to make new friends yeah. isn't it yeah so yeah. it's lovely so thank you girls if you're watching thank you yeah thank you so today is going to be about finished projects works in progress and we've got a section about Disney sisters creations because our june's been a busy little bee and she's got some new bags to share with you so I'm so as you can guess linda's got eighty nine thousand finished projects and i've got two <laughs> no guys i've got five but you're gonna laugh because two of the finished projects are sweaters and when i put them together the colors are more or less similar the sweaters june <laughs> just surprised me in the least so shall we get to it so shall i go first well yeah you might as well because i've only got two so i first ever ever first ever test knit guys i've made um before we go on, all the links to what we're talking about will be in the description box below. Uh, where you can find us on the internet is also the links are below. So I have made the Morris Cowl by 
Joanne from Twinset and Pearl and I've used botanical yarns you know I love botanical yarns and it's so as you can see it's drapey but what I if you do do this pattern I know the pattern's coming out in about two to three weeks and um, I did a, I was really good guys you're going to be so proud of me I actually did a swatch I did a swatch and that and I got gauge and then that is what's left of a hundred gram skein and um, that's my swatch and I got gauge which was amazing but I, I, I kind of do um, my knit I found out that when I did um, you know Stephen West's twist and turns the very first one and um, one side there was garter stitch and a uh, kind of and I found out by doing that that my gauge for my um, garter stitch which is all knit and my stocking stitch the gauge I get perfect gauge every time well, and that is just because I've been knitting such a long time so yeah so I sewed it together what I did was I did it there's two sizes and I did the first size I think you're going to need a little bit more for the second size um, and then what I did I washed and blocked it and then I seamed it at, around the back uh, I seamed it then and it it it's so light and airy isn't it yeah beautiful so soft yeah it's lovely so uh yeah uh the shawl there is a shawl for this uh the um and the shawl pattern's lovely as well um check out um twin set and pearl on ravelry they have lots and lots and this month is uh, they're raising money for myeloma and um I know Rachel who does the sock designs um design socks um she's made uh, done a sock pattern and all the proceeds from the sock pattern go to myeloma I still need to go on and buy my my sock pattern and um, and then all the money all the funds then go to myeloma um which is um, this month is myeloma month so that is my first project do you want me to do my second? Oh, there. <laughs> my second is a pair of socks. I'll just sit here and quietly contemplate life. And so, as you know, I've been, I've, I, I got a lot of this well, silly teeth in love. I got <laughs> <laughs> your teeth are in, see. So, Hobie Silly Socks Flower Pop. This is the sunflower one i've never seen sunflowers this color but yes, hey no colors it is it's lovely um so what i'll do is i'll wind this up and this will go into um my my scrap but they will um my leftover yarns i shouldn't really call them scrap that my leftover yarns are going into blankets so that's what i've got left and these are the socks and um, these socks are uh, a Christmas present and I won't say who because I know the person watches doesn't she mm -hmm. so these are the socks that I've made they're a Christmas present they're not quite twins but the, but they're sisters like me and a so me, me and a. <laughs> so it's you just plain vanilla sock are you I um I always follow Kay from the crazy sock ladies and um, vanilla sock pattern and that's that I need to wash and block them I haven't I haven't done that yet but I will wash and block them and that's my second I should bring my made in turkey ones for you to block oh yeah you should shouldn't you yeah 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 come on, come on. so that's my second do you want me to do my third one? Oh yeah why not right my third one is the franny granny the Franny Granny, um, it's uh, Han Jan on, she's Han Jan on, on Hannah on YouTube and she made this um, poncho but designed a sweater so I saw it and I thought oh I'm going to do that and this is my sweater that it's I've done. Beautiful. So what I've done is I've done front bows, pack bows. I've not done a tight um, cuff because um, I like to pull my my 
my sweater sleeves up I did front post pack post for the this and, and that I will take photos with me wearing it and uh, but it's just too flipping hot at the moment yes. isn't it it's absolutely yeah roasting beautiful. Um, so I used for this yarn for this poncho I used Sedar Stories which is 60% cotton 40 acrylic and that's what I've got left over from that and then the glamping is um, the same um, this is uh, the same specs and that and there were 50 grams 140 meters 153 yards so that is what I've got left from the from the sweaters and I am absolutely I tried it on and it fits lovely and I you still got a stitch marker in it I know I, I need to I put left the stitch marker in because I need to put a little thing at the back to so I know which is the front and which is the back so yeah so I need to I, I want to put something in the back just so I know that it that's the back because obviously it's the same I didn't do this any higher because I didn't want it going up here because I'm of uh, that age where I have lots of uh, hot flushes I can't stand anything around me you know really tight against my neck so yeah and that'll be nice that'll be nice over you know over one of my sundresses you know if it's mm. a bit cool or whatever or you just put it on your back like that put it around like that see see mm. she's saying yeah yeah so that is my third. Go on, you can show yours now. You can oh, sure. One. Yeah, sure. So I've made Lyra, my little legs. I finished her pink cardigan. Made in Wendy Supreme. Well, yeah, meant Wendy Supreme, and it's called Barbie. Barbie pink. Yeah, Barbie pink. Barbie pink. And she loves pink, doesn't she? Yeah. She's going to love that. And that'll go with a lot of uh, so outfits. Yeah, what, what it's her birthday it? on Wednesday. Next Wednesday, she'll be three. So I've bought, I asked mum and dad what they wanted. So they said, because um, of what they're getting, uh, um, just a load of outfits. So I've bought uh, two pairs of sandals. And for every card I've made, she's got two outfits. Mm -hmm. So she's got six outfits because I've done the purple one, if you remember. And then I've done this one. Mm -hmm. And that was the daisy, but I just did the pattern. Remember the daisy that I did for the friend, my friend who was having a baby? But I just did the pattern on the bottom and I made it short sleeves for her. Yes, so that's my first. Lovely. My next finished project is my summer diva poncho let me just do it on the I've, I've got it on the hanger as a poncho there we go there we go so i've used um ali's diva which is i think it's microfiber acrylic yeah microfiber acrylic 100 percent microfiber acrylic now and it fits lovely i did a short one because i wanted it for in the evening you know when, nice with that pink dress yeah it will won't it i've mm. just bought a pink dress and this will go really nice with it um for you know for when you're sitting out in the evenings and you're having a drink or you've got company and that and i just wanted something short not a full length and what i've done is this motif is one of my doilies that i've um redesigned into a square and then i've just done treble crochet and then on the bottom i've done the shell stitch and in between i've added um iridescent beads and uh, it's really nice i've washed i've blocked it and it just fits it feels so nice i'll put it on and i'll, I'll show you there we go see it's just a nice nice length on the sleeves just kind of to me elbows which is what I wanted so and it's lovely and it's washed really nice so yeah so I quite like that and the treble crochet is the US if you did it I don't know what the um, what treble crochet is in in the US 
in UK terminology, but I did you use I always use US terminology for my crochet. So yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that. I can have it that way. There's four different ways I can have it. I could have this one at the cup front, so yeah, or I could even if I wanted I could even have it like that as a little square square neck. So very first time. Beautiful. Thank you. So what have you got to share? My Lyra jumper. She finished it, guys. I finished it. Lovely. I've finished. Is that side? Yes, yeah. that side. There you go. The pattern is absolutely beautiful. The only thing you changed was you added extra rows. Oh, yeah, I added extra rows because I remembered on my top down, my higher tees, I added, um, I think I added 14 extra rows mm -hmm. because it wasn't, when, when I added it and you put it on, it wasn't quite, it, yeah. yeah to where so I added to 14 be. rows. I know, the, I know how many rows I need from the, under the arm down to the wet ribbon. And I know I'm, I need an extra 14 rows when I do here. Yeah. This was made from the bottom up. And I must say it, it was, I quite enjoyed it. Yeah, it's lovely. The yarn is one that she bought at Newbury yeah. last September. When it's we... called Good Old Fashioned Double Knitting. I bought it in a pack. So yeah. I've got quite a bit. So I've got like, for me higher tea, me two higher teas and that, I've got, two and a half balls um, of each yeah so i'm thinking of putting them all together and uh, making a blanket yeah yeah making a throw yeah yeah so i'm made up with that beautiful yeah. yarn to knit with the pattern is lovely yeah look at the pattern guys isn't it beautiful it's yeah. a lovely sweater and she's tried it on and it looks really really yeah, nice it looks on. i love it and it's so soft june yes green really again green but green's your favorite color isn't it blue and green blue and green yeah yeah, yeah. So I'm going at me. I'm going to start going at me comfort zone there. I think. Yeah. Because, yeah. And yeah. you'll see that the next one she's doing yeah. for her whips. So I'm really happy with that. Linda's took the pattern back, but I've downloaded it anyway. So yeah. I think I will. I will make another one. And the pattern is by Sarah Hatton, and it's called the Feather Lace Yoke Top, um, Lyra, and it's by West Yorkshire Spinners, and yeah. they're the the yarns that they recommend elements by west yorkshire spinner which is tensile but i just i was went on to black sheep pools looking at their patterns and i just seen the lyra and i thought oh i've got to make that oh. mm -hmm. so, yes yeah. so, so that's my two and my last one is my radiate sweater and you will see from <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Can you can you see it, guys? <laughs> More or less the same colour. So I've already made the radiate sweater. I did it in foxtail and uh, midnight blue um, from Beehive Yarns, and I wanted to do it again. And uh, I've washed it. I've blocked it. This is the radiate sweater by Hoagie Locatelli. Um, I did do three quarter sleeves, but when I washed and blocked it, it gives me full length sleeves. So anyway, it doesn't matter. So it's washed, it's blocked, and it is beautiful. And the yarn I purchased when we were, Rick and I went away for our anniversary to Loden, and I've used um, King, Cole. King Cole's Merino Blend DK, and this is the colour Aran. And then this one doesn't have a um, a colour, um, and this is this is what I've got left. I've got them left, and this is a uh, shade number nine oh five. It is a hundred percent pure new wool, one hundred twenty three yards, approximately one hundred and twelve meters, and that's what I've got left of those. So they're DK and it fits lovely. I washed it, I blocked it, tried it on, and uh, I still got to do a photograph. But as I say, it's wool. It's too, <laughs> it's too flipping hot. 
to do anything with it but did you just order me knit one pair one yeah because it's ordinary knit one pair one here because i couldn't do the front post back post because of the bottom but you know they through back of loop through back of loop i couldn't do the through back of loop which is my favorite yeah. um yeah. ribbon but i couldn't I do it on on here and uh, so i didn't do it on the bottom and it's a top down so you do your yoke first and then you work down so yeah i'm really really pleased this is a bit longer than the other one uh, which is fine which is what i wanted but uh, hey ho so they are our finished um our finished projects go me one of these months i'm gonna have more than you yeah, but you've been Not. busy sewing. Yeah, I'm but working. you've got more sew and you work. Mm. I'm at home all day, so yeah. I will make more than you. And, I, you know, I mean, you are a quick knitter anyway. Mm. You know, but you work, you've got family, and you're sewing our bags for our, our show on Sunday. Mm. So, yeah, so this video is going out on Sunday, and June and I will be at um, New Brighton, um, the floral pavilion selling our wares yes so and um, we will show you the bags but that's uh, um later on so whips how many whips june oh obviously you go first you've got three <laughs> I've, got, I've got more than no she's got more than three but she's only throwing showing three today yeah because i won't allow it <laughs> she wouldn't allow me to show Otherwise, it would be here. It'd be go and get a nice cup of coffee, go get yourself comfortable, get your crochet and all knitting, and just enjoy the show. Right, so this is my Sheila bag. Is this the small one? Yes. The small Sheila bag that June made, and I am doing, I'm making um, the Arm Whisperer Katie, and let me just see. So I am making the mischievous magpie shawl. It's a knit along. Um, the pattern is designed by Heather C. Gibbs. And um, the yarn is by Katie, the yarn whisperer. And um, I think it's Mrs. Mrs. G. Or Miss G, I'll put the links below who did the um, stitch markers. So I got the yarn and it comes in, you do it in sections. So I've done sections one, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I'm on to section eight. And um, yeah, so I, the yarn is really nice. The yarn is. This is the yarn I've got. So I'm um, working on this. I use this for seven and eight. And then this is, uh, no, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eight and nine is this, and 10 and 11 are these two, the black and the cream. Um, a beautiful yarn. Um, the blue has got Stellina in, all different shades of blue. And I'm really enjoying, really enjoying this. Obviously, it's crochet. And I'm loving the way it's designed. Obviously, it doesn't, it'll look better once I've blocked it. And I've got that stitch marker there, so I know that's the front. So, yeah, so, and that was, um, yeah. So, I finished this one yesterday. So, I'm going to start the other's some time today so that was whip number one come on you can go now i forgot to show whips sorry not ready again that's it june's got his in her uh, disney bag which is our signature bag which is really really popular guys. very popular this one you can get so much in it yeah so i'm making that cardi again for little legs in what i've got left from my jane seabrett driftwood yep yeah. so i've done the back the back and the sides are all in one 
but I haven't done a pattern this time. I've just done it because I think the the yeah, the yarn is speaks for itself, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. It speaks for itself. Yeah. The yarn. So I've done that, and I'm on to her sleeve now. Made short tees again. Yeah, short sleeves. Yeah, the yarn is so soft. So guys. and I thought that's what I thought. It's lovely and soft. And you know what? It. The sad thing is they discontinued this yeah. yarn. I mean, I tell you what. If the if it was still around the drift, yeah, wood, I would I would get so definitely I've, get so much so soft. Yeah, I had I have got I found more, uh, but it's it's different color. It's not the same color. It's got a different. It's where blue. that's like a uh, gray and brown. No gray. I think it's blue. Yeah. Um. So I bought enough. I think I got six hundred gram balls, didn't mm -hmm. I? No, five. Five hundred. Five hundred gram balls, and out of them five hundred gram balls, I've made the vest for me, and I'll have made Lyra's cardigan. I've got one more sleeve to make, and I've and got button bands. Button bands, and that's what I've got left. Yeah, and it was a um, James C. Brett driftwood. Um, anti pilling acrylic 100%, uh, 290 metres and 316 yards, yeah. and it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's DW01 if you wanted to know, yeah, sorry, the, colour, the shade, yeah. So, yep, that is stunning. It's yeah. ab absolutely beautiful. So, I shall be making myself something else, and no doubt making Lyra mm -hmm. something else of what's left, yeah. So yes, that's that my gorgeous. that's my first. Okay, can I thought I might have had a finish, but no, I didn't. I did not. So my second whip is one I've been working on a while, but I haven't showed you because I've not worked on it a lot. And it is the Simon Shaw by jo Joanne Herriot, who is twin one of part of Twin Set and Pearl. I am using. Drops Flora and um, thank you to the twin set, uh, jo uh, Rachel and Joe, and obviously um, Kirsty and Tracy for in enabling me to go and purchase some Drops Flora. So they're the colours I'm doing it in. This is colour 22 and this is colour 9. And they they are fifty grams, two hundred and ten meters, two hundred and thirty yards, and it's sixty five percent wool, thirty five percent alpaca. And this is what I've done so far. I haven't showed you it, but this is where I'm up to now. Let me just get this, and I've got my little heart gnomes as my stoppers. back on so this is what i've done so far i'm only on i just work on this if there's no rush for this this i just work on this as and when and i'm on section three and you've got to do section three four times and i'm on the second 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 sec, second set of 24 rows so yeah so lovely. it's lovely isn't it, it feels mm -hmm. nice and soft and it's uh, quite like uh, what needles I'm using 3.75 um, really needles. Nice. It's lovely, yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Really like it. It is lovely. So I just do that as and when it's there's no rush. And again, I've got it in my small Sheila bag. This one's my fave because it's got. I, they're, they're all my fave, but that's purple. And you know, guys, purple's my favourite. You need to be all your fave because you've got every single one. I've got every single bag, guys. Oh no, I've not. I've not got the new Disney bag, have I? So that's coming up. So that's that. I'm quite sure she'll have a bite at the end of the month. Yeah, more than likely. Uh, so what's your second one? Your second whip. It's in my new Disney bag. So we've both got two Disney bags now. So I might even have three. Right, I am making Stephen West. Because you know we're going to Amsterdam. I am making Stephen Wet's Bryonite sweater, but I'm not. I'm not making it long sleeved. No, 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 no. And I was, I was busy reading the pattern to see like 
what how many stitches I needed everything couldn't find where you started I only had to back to front the pattern but I am making it you ready guys it's called blood orange by Wendy Supreme I walked past going to knit and natter one day and I went oh I like that lovely so yes so it's blood orange and it is 100% premium acrylic and it's 295 meters 322 yards and it's gorgeous it's lovely really nice I thought I want something that's different cut different mm -hmm. and it'll stand out yeah but it'll, it goes nice against your complexion yeah because I've got a nice nice tan mm-hmm so I've only cast it on and done a couple of rows of um, every block. See, it's not not going anywhere. Yes, and it says um, to, to double the the neck, turn it over. But it says you don't have to, which I won't be doing. I won't be doing. And that's the beauty of the patterns, isn't it? You yes. can uh, change them to I want to your... me stitch mark, stitch up, my needle stoppers here, and I'm using me me mini, me mini. My little minis yes i've got i didn't show you that the ones on the, the uh, lyra's card because they're um snowmen and mm -hmm. every time i whip i use my snowman someone keeps taking them off me because it's summer so guys so that's my my tip yeah my last one is an aaron cardigan let me get my pattern and it's a vintage pattern that I got off Etsy. I got, yeah, Etsy. I got off Etsy. I'm using Drops Charisma, which is 100% um, wool, 100 metres, 109 yards. And it's a DK weight, uh, colour 01, which is off white, which is the colour for which Aaron is known for. And I have done. Whoops, it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So this is where I was the last time I showed you where the little cat is here, and this is where I'm up to now. So that's how much I've done. I think I've got four more centimeters, and I start shaping for the for the armholes. Your cables are just so neat. Mine look like Bigfoot's been doing them. No, no. You, you know when you cross them over and you twist? Mm. I end up with it like a hole. Like a gaping hole there. Eh? Right, yeah. Yeah. So if I, I ever wanted anything cabling for the boys when they were growing up, my mum did them for yeah. me. Yeah, so anyway, so that's what, I, that's what I've done so far. So I've done quite a bit since I last showed you. And, and again, this just gets picked up as and when and uh, this is the this is the pattern and i'm really i really like the pattern so yeah and i'm doing the third size which is 36 because I, I i don't want to no i want to be able to wear something underneath it so yes yeah, so that is what my last week well it isn't my last week i've got other wigs but they're the only ones I've been working on while I've been doing the test knit. So I could show you them, but I couldn't show you anything else. Um, so, yeah. So that's all for the whips and the um, finished projects. Um, we've, got no, we've got no acquisitions to share no, with you this, no. this, uh, this session. Um, even though we have bought, it's just... We haven't bought it with, well, June hasn't bought it with us. And uh, so we're going on, moving on now to Disley Sisters Creations. We do have a Facebook page where we sell our project bags and that. And um, we've got a show, as I said, mentioned before, we've got a show on Sunday. Yeah. And June has been making bags for the show. And... Um, we will after the show i think we'll put them up on the yeah we'll put them up on the page yeah. once the show because it's done. been like really busy the last couple of months i yeah. haven't i haven't really made any have i too no. but i said once this is once this show's done and i've done this order we've got to do yeah i'm going to start making 
yeah, more. more bags and just yeah. getting them up on the page. So if if we've only got if it's only going to be one of a kind, mm -hmm. meaning like two two of them now that I'm going to show you, they're the only two I've got in that material. We will put one of a kind, but if we if we've got more of the material, it won't have. You know, you can order this this bag in the same material or if you want this material in a different bag and there's enough then yeah yeah because just contact us and ask us you yeah know, because we've got plenty of material um yeah because we go out to get the interfacing don't we for the bags and, and end up coming yeah. back with more material yeah which we have we've got some lovely lovely material yeah i went yeah. to go and get more interfacing the other week and Bernie was like, I'll just go for a ciggy and then I'll get back in the car and wait for you because he hates coming in the, the shop with me. And I come out and he went, do you need a hand? And I was like, no, no, I'm fine. He went, what have you bought? I went, nothing, nothing, nothing. So I've got this big roll of interfacing. I'm trying to struggle with that to get it. And I've got this new material. With butter, I, I just walked in and saw it, and it was just it was yeah, and it's got butterflies all over it. I, I but it's beautiful, yeah. and it's green, everyone. It's green, yeah. So I think we're gonna make. Your mum would go bags. absolutely. Yeah, she would. She would. Then again, she might might have approved of it because it's butterflies. Yeah, she. Yeah, she might approve. Yeah, of so it. I think they're gonna be. Yeah, I think we're gonna make, I'm gonna make Taunton totes and name um, yeah. Jones blanket bags. Yeah, and I might even try and make the one of the new ones in it and see if that. Oh yeah, that'd be, be more nice. sturdy, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so watch this space over the next couple of months. No, in the, the next month and a half. Yeah, we'll be adding a lot more bags. A lot more definitely, bags. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So do you want to share with us what you've what you've made? So these are all June's finished projects, guys. For the Disney Sisters creations. So this is a one-off. There's no other material, no more material of this one. This was just a, a, a I think it was a sample piece we bought, didn't we? I and I've yeah. yeah, yeah, and I've made this as a Disney, a Disney bag. Oh, I like that June. So it's the same same specs as per usual with the Disney bags. You get your logo, your butterfly, which is in memory of our mum, and you get. One pocket inside there where you can put, like, I put, put my scissors in there and then I put my pencil and my crochet hook or whatever in there. And then you get a big deep pocket here for your notebook. For you put your notebook or your, your notions tin, tin or your notions pouch. Yeah. So it just depends what I've got. And then, as usual, what With we always had on, your like bulb stitch mark holder which is i i find is ideal god yeah. send you're not rooting in the bag trying to find it so that is a one of a kind and i think it's beautiful i was really pleased with that one when i made that one that is lovely though. yeah so that's one this other one is exactly the same same specs and everything and this is a one of a kind i think this is material linda brought home yeah from uh, ludlow yeah and it's beautiful it's like the the musical notes are like a uh, metallic -y. yeah beautiful bronze metallic that. yeah how beautiful is that material same specs as the other yeah. one with your yeah. with your with your, with your stitch marker and your pockets and yeah that. yeah and I think I've got enough of this one to make a little notions pouch. Yeah. And it's same specs, your pockets inside, both sides, and you stitch stitch. And I tried to match them to the material. So that's the next one. That is lovely. Yeah. I really like that one. It is. You like mm -hmm. that one as well, don't yeah, you? Like like them. Them. Yeah, beautiful. So we've been doing Simpson sock bags, haven't we? Which yeah. is like quiz or one. So I've been doing them about that size. So I decided to make a couple of bigger ones. Yeah, and it's got pockets in as well, guys. Yes. Oh, same as always. And the stitch markers look. Yeah. Oh, I've not put mine. I've no. used mine. Um, pockets inside, both sides. One big one. One with like for all your. Crochet hooks, because some people tend to use more than one crochet hook, don't they? Your light bulb stitch markers, as usual, and 
a box, a yeah, a box bottom, box bottom, and I've made them a bit bigger this time with the handle on. Sarah would like that, wouldn't yeah, she? Sarah yeah. Move. Well, we made the bag out of this, and it's what I had left. Yeah, that is lovely. Mm -hmm. So that's one. Then I don't know what I made with this one. What did I make with this material? Is it a Mary bag? No, a Disney bag. No, you made a Mary bag for um, for Anne, our Anne. Oh yeah. So there's another one, exactly the same. Pockets in the front, but I made this one a bit taller. I That's like the that same. Nice, yeah. And then I made a Disney bag out of this one. Yeah, you made a Disney bag out of this one. Yeah. And then this one's a tall and thin one. Same specs, pockets, but uh, both sides. Mum's. That'd emblem. be nice for a shawl as well, you know. Yeah. Well, that's what I thought. Shawl. I thought like shawls, and then the little and ones socks. for the socks. Yeah. And then, I think they're all going to be made this size from now on. Yeah. Yeah. The sugar crush. Uh, sugar yeah, this skull. Size. Sugar scroll. Yep. And same again. Pockets, both sides, and. The stitch marker yeah. yeah so i'm gonna i think they'll all be this size from now on yeah. when i make them yeah um i'm gonna have a go at making them a little bit but without the zip with a pull string yeah and see yeah, yeah. but yeah all zips so there i've got made four of them and this is our new one and this is called the george bag No, no zips, just um, two big handles and pockets. And at the back, you've got a big pocket that goes all the way around. goes right the way there to, and there. But I've, obviously, I've split it in half, otherwise it'd gape. You've got a big pocket inside there. You've got your normal made for, like, one there for your scissors and then two... Oh. To there for your pencil and your crochet, crochet hook, whatever, or your needles, yep. DPNs. Yep, and then obviously mum's signature and, and your stitch marker. Yep, and this is just made into a box bag like that, just stitched at the top to make it stand a bit. And this is our new one because we have a Sheila bag. And a George and bag. a Mary bag. A Mary bag. And now we've got a George bag. Yeah. So yeah. I think yeah. I'm gonna make myself one of these. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yep. I like the coffee. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. Yep. So they need to photograph them now. Yes, yeah, so they? these could these all will all, all go on the page. We'll take photographs and they'll all go on the page. After Sunday. Yeah. And then it'll just be if you want to order one. Whatever, whatever just, colours. Yeah, material. you can just e email us. Yeah, and then we'll just send you pictures of different co types of material we've got, and then we'll make them. They, they take about two to three, two, two to three, three weeks, weeks to yeah. to make. Yeah, and get you sent out to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's because our June works. So yeah, yeah. yes, I work. Yes. So that's all oh, bad. That's what I've been doing. I've yeah. been making all the things, but they weren't ready yet. Yeah. So we've had quite a busy, busy yeah. week, busy month, really. Yeah. Yeah. And we've recorded this early. Um, we usually do record it at the beginning of July. What we've made in in June. June. But June. It's Sarah's birthday next week, and yeah. I needed a card. So we wanted, to, even though we wanted to show you, mm. so we we've done it kind of. Um, a bit earlier this month so yeah. yeah obviously i won't be able to show your iris of last card i'm finishing for next month because but i might just take a picture of her way and yeah and ask ask, ask um, vicky can i put it on the page if we can put it on the page book can i put it in you know put a picture in the video yeah yeah or yeah. on on our blog because yeah, i yeah. don't i don't tend to put pictures at the end of the video um I put them, I do a blog post yeah, and yeah. I put all the pictures on yeah, the blog post yeah. with the links. Oh yeah, I think you won't mind us yeah. putting the library. Yeah, yeah, but it's nice well, to I will most probably be doing twisties and turnies and mm. showing it off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah, so we've got... A busy weekend. A busy weekend. 
and then we've got quite a busy month next month as well haven't we oh no it's not next month it's a month August. after yeah uh, july we've got no just birthdays isn't it just birthdays we've got because yeah. we've got charles and lyra and At then the we've got james day, yeah. and charles's prom on friday uh -huh. mm -hmm. and then james as well james's yeah. birthday next month isn't it yeah july's the worst month for me mm -hmm. i've got a 16 year i've got Lyra and Lyra was born on Charles's thirteenth birthday, and now she's three on his sixteenth. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Busy and month. she'll be five when he's eighteen. Yes, yeah. That's why he didn't mind. Yeah, because the day before we went to see him, Vicky had gone in. She was in labour, uh -huh. and we'd gone to see them and and like sort them all out because they were grown up and everything and just go and make sure they were all right did they need anything and that and when i was giving him a kiss to say to her i said to him you do realize your sister's coming tomorrow don't you and he went no i don't care because i'll have celebrated all my special birthdays by the time she comes to 13 so i don't care yeah but oh they're amazing with her yeah yeah she oh, absolutely yeah. i delight is yeah because katie she calls her kiki yeah Ki Kiki, Kiki's Katie, and Chaz, they put videos up of it because um, Ian bought her a trampoline for the back garden and Chaz goes on it with her. You have to have permission off her to get on it though. So he goes there and he lays down and she passes him, doesn't she? And she passes him. She was, she's an Evertonian, she's running around. The, she's the, Mo Salah, Mo, Mo Salah. Salah. And then when we went there on Saturday, for me, but me birthday, we went yeah. and visited them, and she was like, Granddad, Mo Salah. And he's going, You're a toffee, and she's going, Mo Salah. <laughs> she was like, He said, But you're an Evertonian. She said, I'm a blue. When he went, Yeah, and he doesn't play for Everton. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> What do you mean he doesn't play? Yeah. I like his name, Mo Salah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the Ian's building a, a their the garden's amazing. It's garden, and then you walk up up a hill, and it's a mass of trees. So they've cut the trees, not the trees, the branches back, and the trees go over, and they're building a big massive house in there. All Ian's building it at the minute with them. Yeah. Oh my God. And She's gonna. Oh, it's so. We're gonna do the uh, June's gonna do all the soft furnishings, yeah. curtains. Yeah. And I'm gonna make her. A, th a, th a couple of throws. A couple on, of yeah. throws for a. So I need. To, I need pink. I yeah. didn't do any other colour but pink. Otherwise, yeah. you go mad. Yeah. So I, I need to get some pink yarn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's she's <laughs> she's two going on twenty two. Yeah. Mm. But we realised at, at my sixtieth last year, and one of our James's friends was like Lyra walked in with her dad and her mum and, and our friend went to a uh, crate to James. James, why have you put a picture up of Lyra on your mum's big birthday ballet? And it wasn't, it was me as a baby. Yeah. She is the image of me mm -hmm. when I was she young. She is. And it's not, it wasn't until we saw that photograph and Lyra together that it was like, except for you didn't have blonde hair. No. Um, no twins it, yeah. it was it, it killed Kills. the same mm -hmm. and everything it little looked mini like. me and i was like and Je uh, when i came in like and sat down james went mum look at the picture and i looked at the picture and he went look at lyra and i went oh my god i couldn't believe it could i no and you never do do you no, you never no, do no but she's yeah oh yeah she's yeah. she's a nana june to the two oh, yeah yeah right little sassy pants and she was sassy too yeah because mum and dad got us ready because we were going out oh no my dad was away on exercise yeah, it was me, and it was and she dressed all in white uh, a nappy and a white frilly knickers you know with all the lace at the back and this lovely white dress tilly flossy had only went and climbed in the bloody coal bunker and she was black my mum and i've got a picture believe it or not she took the picture and that comes back to haunt me every special birthday because James roots it out. Yeah. Honest, big black behind. I was literally, yeah. I think I was trying to carry the shovel. Yeah. I think in the picture. <laughs> the shovel's about twice the size of what she was. Yeah. And me and our, me and our dawn, we were just sat there waiting patiently for my mum to get ready. 
because mum had got us ready and then she went upstairs to get ready and all oh, matching dresses yeah we all had nice well she didn't when we went out there because it obviously is was black so my mum had to wash her and change her so mum was not impressed in fact my mum didn't do it my nan did it because mm. my mum didn't want to get yeah. My granddad just looked at you know, no, it was Uncle Arthur, because oh. we were living at Uncle Arthur's. And Uncle Arthur just said, well, little girls would be living. She's supposed to be sitting. And then we got told off because we weren't keeping an eye on her. And because I was the eldest, I got told off because I, I just looked at my mum and said, can you control her? Because I can't. I'm younger than you. I'm smaller than you, mummy. She's, she's naughty. She was a pain in the horn. I was. I was, I was, and we got a picture of her in um, oh, what was the in Amfield, the road in Amfield that Nan and Granddad used to live at, Rokesmith Street, mm. I think it was, and she is on, you know, the little children's bikes with the three wheels. You got one in the front and two at the back, two two wheels at the back. She's she's bombing it down the road. She was you were a, you were a terror tomboy. Didn't yeah. care. No. Didn't no. care. No. I was very ladylike, wasn't I? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They always say that in the family you'd have a tomboy, and they always say the middle ones, the the, uh, the devil child, don't they? Oh, yeah. And the eldest is always the posh one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what, guys? I'm not posh, am no, I at all? No. I've got a man like one, her. Yeah, I'm, I'm one a sailor. <laughs> yeah, we're one of them. What you see is what you get. And if you yeah. don't like us, tough. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, it is. It? Life's too short, guys. Life's yeah. too short. Yeah. Well, we hope you've enjoyed our chit chat and reminiscing about when we were children. I'll try and see if I can find the photo, and um, in one of our next lives, I'll try and see if I can find a really bad one of Linda, because I've got all the photos from me mum's. Yeah. And I, I keep saying, I need to sort the jewellery out, I need to sort this out, I need to sort that out. But I just can't bring myself to, like... No. You have to get have a look at the photos. Yeah, they will. See if oh, there's well. one, a bad one of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there's some of us when we lived in Singapore and um, we're at the poolside. Because we used to go to swimming, didn't we? Yeah, shoulders on. Yeah. So, no, soldiers arms. arms. I always used to call it shoulder. And my dad say, it's soldier. And I've got a bikini on, and the bikini tops up here, and the knicker parts up the cheeks of me. <laughs> I'm like, that sounds like, and it's like down here where you should be up here, and the knickers are down there. And I'm like, Bailey went to me in the name of God, who's that kid there? And I went, that's me. <laughs> he went to, you just got out the pool, I said, can't you tell? The knickers are nearly down by me, me knees, and the bra's nearly up by me, me chin. Because <laughs> it just threw me in the pool in a pair of knickers and no vest. I had nothing. I was only little. Just <laughs> threw me in with knickers, Mum. I'll be fine. I know. Okay. Yeah. We were. Oh, God. No, because I, I learned to swim really early, didn't I? Because yeah. I only went to kindergarten. I used to go swimming with me, Mum. So I learned mm. to swim really, really mm. quick, didn't I? Yeah. yeah, we all learned to swim well while we were younger because obviously we lived abroad and yeah. you know we were always around water, so yeah. that was one of but the things. Such a, mom and dad, yeah. yeah, such a young age compared to some some children that oh, learned yeah. to swim. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah, definitely, yeah. So yes, so we hope you've enjoyed today. Yeah. We'll be back next month. Yes, we will. Um, hopefully, we'll manage to get a live in as well next month mm -hmm. towards the end of the month. Um, it all depends on June's work schedule and whatever. Yep. And um, yeah, because I've gone from working nights to working days now, haven't I? Yeah. So uh, I have to just bit. work what they tell me to. I'm not allowed to dictate. Yeah. So w we will see you all again real soon. What? Of, which one of your art projects do you enjoy? What are you working on? Oh, I think you should choose one of mine because you know. Miss, I make 29 million. Michael came to see me last night and I was like, like, we're sitting underneath the, in the shade. And I went, do you want a Diet Coke? And he went, yes, sitting there. And he said, uh, are you doing a video tomorrow? And I said, yeah, I need to remember to take all my stuff and I want to try and get the bag, sew all the buttons on and everything. And he said, uh, makes me laugh. I said, right, I've only got, 
and he said one of these days I think to myself Linda's go, gonna go I've only got 84 finished projects for this month and June's got one <laughs> so sit back get your cup of teas get your butties get your knitting and just enjoy the 69 hour long I was laughing me head off and then we FaceTimed and I went hi and she went hi and I would say hello to Michael she went hi and I went she did what he's just been saying about you <laughs> Yeah, we were laughing. Yeah. yeah, we had a good chat. I mean, kind of, we see each other, well, at least two two times, a two, week, yeah. two, sometimes three times a week. But we FaceTime each other every night for about an hour. I'm on the machine, she's knitting. I'm sometimes knitting or we're crocheting. not even talking. Not, no, or oh, we're looking at and I'll say, oh, I've just got to knit to the little yeah, girl's yeah. room. And I leave her and go in the bathroom and come back and I say, I am back. Yeah. <laughs> Or I'll go, she'll go to her, what, what are you making there? I'll go, you'll have to wait until I've finished it. I'm not showing you. So then I'm sat here then thinking, hmm, wonder what she's making. Oh, do you know what I never brought? The knitting needle pouch I made. <gasps> oh, no. I made a knitting needle pouch, everyone. Not where you roll it open and you stick your needles in, just like zip top. Didn't I? Yeah. Lovely as well with bees on. Oh. Next time. Next time. Because that's another finished project for you, Jo. Oh, yeah. That would have been three in the makeup bag. That's four. So it would be like you just needed one more. Make it five. <laughs> I've got a half done cake bag for myself and you. Later, me and your cake bag, haven't I? It's half done. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that would have been seven. That, that would have been seven. That would have been one upmanship on me. Yeah. But you have one upmanship, really, because you've made all them bags. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, my, so she has done more than me guys well i'm doing a mystery project and she went oh you're making socks i went no 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 more <laughs> no Linda, i'm not making socks it's just I've, i'm having a go at something and i just don't want to tell you what it is until i've done it so yeah watch this space <laughs> That's all I can say, watch this space. All she says to me is, watch this space, watch this space. I'm not showing you, watch this space, I said. Right, okay. So we're going to love you and leave. We, we are going now, guys. Yeah, we are too. going. We are. <laughs> we are. So take care, stay safe, but more importantly, guys, be kind to you, and we will see you in the next video. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.